EA Sports. It's in the game. What's up, Madden fans, and welcome to the Madden NFL 12 playbook. We got six major feature announcements all leading up to the launch of Madden NFL 12 on August 30th. But this year, we're going to do it a little bit differently. We brought in Sam Bradford, Reggie Bush, Darrell Revis, Clay Matthews, and even our Hall of Fame cover athlete, Marshall Falk, to walk you through some of these major, major improvements. And even better, we're doing it inside the Emmy Award-winning ESPN Virtual Playbook. So you'll actually get to see us and our favorite NFL players on the field talking about Madden. Enjoy. In Madden NFL 12, we're introducing a brand new feature, a brand new way to think about player ratings. It's called Dynamic Player Performance. And here today to help me explain that is New Orleans Saints running back Reggie Bush, the first cover athlete in history to be inducted in the Hall of Fame coming up in August, Marshall Falk. So guys, dynamic player performance is all about the idea that what happens on a given play, the result, failure, success, that's gonna impact how you think about the next series of plays or the next series in the game. So Reggie, let's talk about this first example here. So this is where you know, you're getting laid out, you're taking a big hit. How does that change your mind state as you think about the next series of plays? Well, it, it changes your mindset um, because the next time you catch a pass, uh, you might be more cautious or you might be worried about the defender a little bit more uh, the next time you're out in the flats or you're catching the ball over the middle or whatever it is uh, because of that big hit. You gotta protect um, the money maker, right? <laughs> exactly, you gotta protect the money maker. <laughs> and on the other end, at the same time, it kind of motivates you to want to come back and uh, make up for that big hit or, or whatever the play was before that, that caused you failure. So Marshall, and actually both you guys, but Marshall, you were breaking all kinds of records about passes out of the backfield. You were sort of that first back, that scat back. So. Did you ever think mentally in a game, you know what, that's how I'm going to get off. That's how I'm going to get my confidence. I'm going to get a couple passes in the, in the flat to build that momentum to carry me through the game? Well, first of all, you know, playing running back, it's not just about running the football. If you want to be effective, as you've seen, Reggie, um, with, with the Saints, uh, you can't just get the ball as handed and off. Sometimes the ball has to be thrown to you, and I always prided myself in being a complete football player, and that meant being effective in the passing game, not just catching balls, but blocking as well. Um, the game is about momentum. I always wanted to make that play to try to capture the momentum to help my team sort of um, take the lead or pretty much win the game. So I, I know we said we wouldn't talk about this. We couldn't find any film of you guys putting the ball on the turf. But let's say <laughs> hypothetically you did. Talk about in a running back's mentality. There's nothing worse in, in the NFL. Coaches will tell you, Coach Payton will tell you, protect the ball, don't put it on the turf. If you do, how does that change the next time you get the ball how you think about how elusive you want to be, how aggressive or risk-taking you guys want to be. I was told at a young age, you know, when you carry the football, you're carrying everyone's hopes and dreams. <laughs> my fantasy team. <laughs> exactly. So, so I, I tried to pride myself in holding on to the football, but it happens. It's a part of football. And I remember when I was younger, uh, it, it would bother me. I would fumble the ball. I would notice I, would, I was running between the holes with two hands on the football. But as you become older and mature, you understand that that's a part of the game. Um, you have to make plays, and you can't make plays with both hands on the ball at all times. Great running backs, they understand when they need to put two hands on the football, and they understand when they have to make a play. And when you're making a play, that ball's in one, your left or your right hand, and you're covering it up as you're getting tackled because that's what they do now. They gain tackle, and they strip the football. So dynamic player performance, it's all about measuring that human element, that confidence that you guys have as it goes up and down depending on what happens in the game. Well, one thing is you want to feed him early and often, whether that's in the passing game or in the running game. You're running back, you want to give him the ball as much as possible. All right, there you go, Madden NFL 12, dynamic player performance. It's going to change the way you strategize, the way you think about the game. So listen to these guys, feed the running backs the rock early. Madden NFL 12. True to the franchise. True to Reggie Bush. True to Clay Matthews. True to Sam Bradford. True to Reva Silent. True to the game.